Yo, what's up, guys? So we got some news today to talk about. I feel very empowered to trust my instincts. Sean Levy is still excited about his upcoming Star Wars movie, and there's something to do with Kylo Ren with it. So I haven't read the article. I'm literally jumping right into this to react to it with you guys and then figure out what, what, what it's all about. Now, in a recent interview with Variety, Levy provides a new update on his Star Wars movie, painting a promising picture for the flick's future. While it still sounds like the movie has a long road ahead of it, filmmaker teases his excitement regarding the amount of creative freedom he's been given. Check out Levy's full comment below. When Kathy Kennedy brought me on board to make a Star Wars movie, her central mandate to me was, I want a Sean Levy movie. I want a story and a tone that reflects you and your taste and what you bring to your movies with a Star Wars story. So I have felt extremely empowered. We are in the early days, unfortunately, because the development process was abruptly paused due to the strike, but I feel very empowered to trust my instincts in the development of this story and movie. Okay, although Levy's Star Wars movie won't be hitting movie theaters anytime soon, blah, 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 it could be a good sign for Lucasfilm. The studio, after all, has been mired with creative clashes behind the scenes on projects in the past, with reports indicating that there may be a reluctance to give filmmakers true creative freedom. Two notable examples of this include 2016's Rogue One and 2018's Solo, A Star Wars Story. A great deal of mystery surrounds just what went down behind the scenes of the former, with director Gareth Edwards, a New Hope prequel said to have been in a dire state before screenwriter Tony Gilroy came in to sparhead extensive research. Man, that was a horrible sentence. On Solo, original director Phil Lord and Chris Miller were fired after months of filming to Ron Howard then brought in to replace them, also necessitating extensive reshoots. Yeah, well, we know Solo costs a lot of money because of that, but... Something similar also happened with Rise of Skywalker when original director Colin Trevorrow left the project after Disney brought on Jack Thorne to rewrite it. While there are certainly examples of Lucasfilm finding creative synergy with filmmakers, such as has been with J.J. Abrams, John Favreau, and Dave Filoni, the behind-the-scenes clashes suggest a reluctance to hand over creative control. It remains to be seen what will become of Levy's Star Wars movie as its development continues, but the director's latest update is a promising sign. Okay, well, it seems Kathy Kennedy is, you know, giving him full reins to do whatever the hell he wants to do. I made a face because it's like, she calls up a dude being like, I want a story and tone that reflects you and your taste and what you bring to your movies with a Star Wars story. It's like, well, why don't we hash out what the Star Wars story is first, you know, by maybe someone who, like, really understands Star Wars, like the story. I don't even want to say the story group because like, I feel like they're, sometimes they're just like way off, but then other times they create the books and stuff like that, which is fantastic. So I you know some of the comics like Charles Soule with the, I'd say Momin arc was probably like one of his, the best after that, you know, things are going wonky with the Vader comics, in my opinion. I haven't covered them in years, but maybe I will. But yeah, like, you know, wouldn't you be like, hey, like, we want you to write a story about, like, so-and-so back in time or whatever. But it's like, we just want a movie with your style and a Star Wars story. Like, that. Ah. Anyways, seems like she's given him full reins, just like she did with Ryan Johnson. The only positive here is that there's no not going to be any legendary characters that we know about or legacy characters. So, like, what can they really mess up, right? I mean, of course, like, the lore behind Star Wars and the overall feel and all that stuff and like how training and everything works but i mean man look it, it's kind of nice to have a guy who's not touching anything to do with like luke or legacies and just creating his own thing I, you know i don't even know what he's done what has this guy done okay what so he's doing deadpool 3 is that what he's doing free guy the adam project adam project was great yeah i don't know i mean i liked adam project i didn't have I, I thought it was fun different definitely a star wars feel especially with the lightsaber thing that they had oh he worked on stranger things he works on spooky stuff okay at the museum horror movies and kids movies oh last man standing he did that one i think he's just gonna make something super goofy i don't know i mean i think he's talented i think he's got a good vision i like the way he directs his movies like free guy yeah i like the way he directed that that was cool when it comes to star wars it's always a different story man so i mean geez uh, i hope he knocks it out of the park i hope he has fun with it with the creative process and the freedoms that they're gonna give him and i uh, just yeah, kind of stay true to George and all that. So, yeah, we'll see what happens, dude. But looks like we're going to get another Star Wars project. Is is he, was he the one that was supposed to do the Ray movie? I don't think so. No, no, that's, that's Obeyed Chinoy. Right, what am I saying? Oh, no, is he the one supposed to do the, like, Old Republic movie? Oh, James Mangold. No, that's somebody else. Yeah, yeah, that's this dude making the next Star Wars movie. Oh, yeah, he made Logan. Well, he's made some good stuff, at least. I feel like he's got, like, a really serious tone. Logan's one of my favorites. So Logan and uh, Man of Steel, I think, are some of my favorite superhero movies. Hey, if he makes it anything like that, you know, that'll be great. Trevor James Mangold. But we're not talking about James Mangold right now. We're talking about Sean Levy and his new movie. So clearly, Kathy likes his style. Hope we do, too. <laughs>
when it comes to the uh, the SW, the wars and the stars. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's little news vid. Let me know what you think about this. What do you hope that his style is going to make? I mean, like more serious or more Jedi or more uh, Andor? We'll see. Later. May the Force be with you. Always.